Hi, this is Douglas from CMSoft and I am going to show you how to use the new GL Renderer framework embedded in OpenCL template in order to create an OpenCL OpenGL interoperation screen. We'll start from scratch from the initial screen of Visual C Sharp. We'll create a new project new project I'll call it demo CL GL now I'm, in, I'm going to include some reference to OpenCL template and the other DLLs necessary for the drawings and the interoperation go to references first I need to save the project now I'll go to references add these references to the project okay now I'm going to create a shared OpenCL OpenGL screen I'm going to use OpenCL templates CLGL interop framework now I'm going to create a new op shared screen I'll leave it in the forum space in order to be able to access it afterwards and in the load event I'm going to initialize the OpenGL window new I will use this form as the parent form and I am going to create the shared environment I'm going to use minus one for default compiling the code as you can see with a code that has just a single line I was able to create a 3D interactive environment let's add some code here now I'll add a surface I'm going to create the the object using uh, a 3D object created inside the gel render framework I'm going to create a new vertex buffer object model that is automatically rendered in the shared window I'm going to create the surface using equations I'm going to parameterize the surface using UV coordinates and these parameters are as follows this is the minimum value of U maximum value of U number of points in the U direction V coordinates I'm going to use it from minus 10 to 10 to and f also 500 points now the equations for the vertex coordinates um, I'm going to create a surface a saddle surface which is u times v the equations are parameterized in u and v I'm going to f to give uh, the colors the desired color equations remembering that they need to be scaled from 0 to 1 
the components are in red, green, blue order. Now I'm going to provide the equation for the normal vector. You don't need to normalize these. The normalization is done uh, within the creator. That's it. I've just created a new surface. Now I'm going to um, show the surface using the interoperation window. Add the model. Okay, let me correct the, the three equations. It's necessary to be three equations, not a single string here. Now I'm going to execute the program. And we see that with three lines of code, this is what's possible to create a 3D surface representing a mathematical function. Finally, I'm going to add the 3D mouse functionality. I'll go to the design, add a new tool strip and two buttons. This first one. I'll set the mouse mode. To rotate model, which is the one we are be we we are using until now, and in the other button, I'm going to configure. to mouse 3D mode. I'm going to execute the program again. I have an interactive window. Now, the 3D mouse is here. I use the minus key to reduce the radius of the 3D mouse. And by clicking and dragging, I can modify the surface. there I can also cut the surface using the 3D mouse and this was all created with one two Three, four, five, six lines of code. Thank you very much for your attention.